Dwayne The Rock Johnson has been hyping Black Adam for years now, and there's no doubt that Warner Brothers and DC specifically, they needed this thing to be a big hit. They needed it to leave a huge impact on the audience because a movie that cost $200 million to make, nearly $200 million, it needs around $500 million at the global box office before it can even think about breaking even. And early on, it certainly looked like very positive news for Black Adam. When you look at that audience score and you realize this big disparity between how the critics felt about it and how the audience and the fans were reacting to it. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson went all in on that saying, we love it, we're doing it for the fans, we don't care about the critics. Now, I've been very upfront about the fact that I am more on the side of the critics when it comes to how I feel like the quality of this movie was. I gave it a 5 out of 10 out of the theater. I think ever, the more I've thought about it, the worse I think the movie actually is, but I'll stick with my 5 out of 10. But I said, hey, even though I was not a big fan of this, I don't think it's a very good movie. Seems like a lot of people really are enjoying it. But I did warn people, not just after the opening weekend, but even well before that, that what this movie was looking to do at the box office, the way it was tracking before it came out, this was going to be a disaster for Warner Brothers if it stayed the course, if that tracking actually held up. Remember this from over a month ago? Black Adam said to be a box office disaster. This would be brutal for Warner Brothers and a dying DCEU. Now, I got a little bit of flack for this. People weren't super happy that I made a video like this, but I was just reporting the tracking numbers for the Black Adam box office. Well, as we sit here today, we look after this opening weekend, after the second weekend, after the third weekend, and despite the fact that Henry Cavill came back as Superman, that there seemed like there was a lot of positive energy behind this movie, People simply aren't going to see it, at least not at the rate that Warner Brothers needed them to. Despite a Henry Cavill cameo as Superman, Black Adam bombs at the box office. And that is true. When you look at these numbers, we can go right now to see the weekend domestic chart for last weekend. Black Adam still number one. When you look at the competition, there's absolutely nothing. And with next week, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever coming out. And then I guess we're not waiting too much longer after that before we have a big movie like Avatar sometime in December. But, but this was the stretch. This was the stretch Black Adam needed to make a lot of money while it had no competition. And quite frankly, it just didn't. $321 million at the global box office. And quite frankly, the way this movie is tracking... It's not set to make a ton, maybe a $400 million global run, something like that. At that rate, it would lose about $100 million for Warner Brothers. And I said this time after time. I told everybody I warned people, even when the positive reaction was there for Black Adam. What was I saying? Black Adam fans destroy critics. They love this movie. Will it be enough for DC at the box office, question mark. What did I say here a few days after that? Well, Hollywood box office revived by Black Adam. Fans like it, but it could lose money. Because I knew all along what this had to do, that it was facing an uphill battle with that tracking. A lot of people didn't want to believe me, but as it turns out, that's exactly the state, that's exactly the case that we're in. Black Adam might have brought Henry Cavill back as Superman, but his cameo is not enough to keep Dwayne Johnson-led film from bombing at the box office. The film's only gross $319 million, like we said, it's updated a little bit now to $321 million at the worldwide box office. It earned $67 million domestically its opening weekend. However, according to the numbers, the film has a production budget of $200 million. Now, I've also seen that someplace like $195 basically for all intents and purposes, it's $200 million, which for a big budget movie like this means it needs to make two and a half times its production budget to break even because you got to factor in the marketing cost. You got to factor in the box office cut because depending on the studio, the box office, the theaters themselves, they're going to keep about half of that money that they make at the box office. Well, about half of it goes back to the studios. It doesn't just all of a sudden because a movie makes $330 million of the global box office doesn't mean the studio gets all of that money back. That's not the way it works. Black Adam did exceed predictions for its opening weekend. Box office predicted the film would earn $63 million and it brought in $67. Not that much of an overperformance and still within the range that they originally predicted. They predicted the total domestic would be somewhere between $135 and $175. It's just broken across $135. 
Maybe it gets to 175, but that is doubtful at this point with Black Panther Wakanda Forever looming. While the film appears to be hitting expectations, those expectations don't actually make the film profitable. And that is what I've been trying to tell people, even though they didn't want to listen. Maybe now you'll pay attention. Black Adam's also at the bottom of the list compared to other DCEU films. The only films it's currently beating are Birds of Prey, The Suicide Squad, and Wonder Woman 84. It will likely surpass Shazam as it's only 300 million behind that film. However, it's got a long way to go to catch Justice League. And that's kind of what I said as well. Looks like it'll beat something like Shazam. I think it'll maybe make $400 million globally at this point on par with Eternals. Uh, a little bit less than something like Shang-Chi did for the MCU, that's losing money. That is losing money for DC and for Warner Brothers with Black Adam, if that's what happens. And Odin, to his credit, you know, Odin talked about this. I remember having these conversations with Odin before where he was a little more high on it initially, but it was all dependent on that second weekend drop. And when there wasn't a great hold, the writing is on the wall. And as he points out in this, make or break China. China is the definitive factor because without China, this movie loses $100 million. Not a fucking doubt about it. But... People were hopeful because The Rock's very popular in China. They thought it was going to be released in China. It secured a China release date until a couple days ago we heard about this. Rumor, Black Adam banned in China over Pierce Brosnan's Dalai Lama comments. Don't know if you know a lot about China, but they're not big fans of Tibet and uh, they're not big fans of the Dalai Lama, but Pierce Brosnan definitely is. Now, whether it would have got released, whether it still will got released, that is up in, that's up in the air for sure. However, one thing to keep in mind when it does come to Black Adam, when it comes to the China release, unlike most uh, international and uh, domestic uh, theaters where, you know, the studio can bank on getting about 50% of that money back to them, not the same case with China. That's more about 25%. So say we're $400 million without China it would need to make like 400 million fucking dollars in China to actually break even for the for Warner Brothers in the box office. That is basically impossible. Now, maybe it, maybe it does. Maybe it does go out there, make 100, 200 million, and it ends up looking okay. Uh, maybe it hits $550 million. They can try to claim the broke even, even though that wouldn't be the case. That's the best case scenario right now for Black Adam. I know a lot of people like this movie. I know a lot of people wanted to point to the critics and the audience, but that's not the bottom line. You need to go to, to the movie. You need to go support it. Despite the fact that the audience that went liked it, that's not all that matters. You need the energy. You need the people out there that are actually going to support it. Doesn't look like that happened in Black Adam, despite everyone's best efforts. The Rock tweeted out today, or a couple days ago, what a strong piece of Black Adam business to wake up to. Our film will be the number one movie in the world for the third week in a row. Makes me happy. Ultimately, you should want all our theatrical businesses to thrive as we work through and past COVID. You're already trying to obfuscate. Fuck that. Like, fuck this COVID bullshit. Come on, man. You just watched Top Gun Maverick make a ton of money. Spider-Man No Way Home made a, like $2 billion at the box office. Don't play that COVID game. People didn't come out and support this movie. There's no and, ifs, or buts about that. I love that The Rock has been all about the fans and giving back to the fans and retweeting the fans and how energized they are. That's fine. But, man, you, you can't try to play this COVID game. We know that if there's things out there, people will support it. And we also know if there's things that people aren't excited about, they won't go to see it. But there is no doubt that, like I warned people, like I tried to say over and over again, Black Adam right now is a massive box office problem for Warner Brothers. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.